What is going on, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages? Welcome to, uh, this is the first, uh, I'm pretty excited, this is the first CTP book review on the Hive blockchain. That's right, uh, we used to do these uh, every couple of weeks, uh, and I've been, l let me be brutally honest with you, uh, even though we've had a lot of downtime with all the COVID-19 stuff, uh, I haven't been reading as much as I, you'd expect, uh, but I've been picking it up lately. So uh, the last book that we did was probably about a month ago. Uh, so this is the first book review on on Hive. So uh, it's the CTB book review and uh, uh, par part of my journey, uh, I think, with personal development, success, entrepreneurship, uh, directly comes from what I read uh, I've read uh, thousands of books in my life. I mean, well, maybe not thousands, hundreds of books uh, in my lifetime. And uh, I really, really, really got fired up when it came to personal development and, and reading more. Probably around 2002-ish, around then, uh, when I dove into uh, the, uh, the art of, uh, the, what was it, the, uh, the 22 Immutable Laws of Branding. Uh, that was it by Al Rees uh, and Jack Trout, as well as uh, d dove into some Jeffrey Gittimer stuff. Uh, because I was told that that was kind of a really good game plan. Like, you know, you could go to school, you could you could learn everything they're going to teach you in school. But if you really wanted to kind of like excel, you really had to do your own self-education and kind of take yourself to college uh, by yourself. So... Um, that's what I did, and I've been doing it since about 2002, so that's 18 years of just diving into books and uh, reading a bunch. So, um, <clears throat> I'm going to review this book. Now, let me uh, let me just say that, uh, I don't know if this really matters. This is actually a Canadian author. I don't know if that matters much. Uh, I, I, maybe I'm just a little, a little more proud when it's a Canadian author. But uh, this book, uh, I saw at the bookstore, uh, and obviously you'll see why it stuck out uh, when you see this uh, by Ron Tite. It's called Think, Do, Say, and uh, that pops, right? I mean, that's that really pops out uh, the colors and, and just, it really, it really pops. It's a marketing and branding book. So Ron Tite is, uh, uh, is an entrepreneur from, from Toronto. Uh, he owns this company called um, uh, Church and State. Uh, and he uh, he's a really successful advertising exec and marketing and branding expert. So, uh, I, I had known about him, uh, but this was kind of like, uh, I saw this book and I was like, I, I was really attracted to it just because of the layout and it was really, really cool and just the, the side, it's just really, it's a really nice looking and feeling book. So, uh, that, I'm not saying that you judge a book by its cover, uh, but uh, I dove in, I grabbed it, wow, um, probably one of the better marketing and branding books I've read in years. Now, I'm not going to say it's the best book ever. I mean, I still say when it comes to marketing, uh, Seth Godin's Purple Cow is the top of the food chain. But this is awesome. This is such an amazing read. It, it clocks in at a little bit over 300 pages, uh, but uh, really reads quickly and just fantastic stuff. There's so many uh, nuggets. I've got a piece of paper here written with a couple of quotes from the book to kind of give you an idea of what you get when you get into this. Uh, but uh, this is the on the back. It says, "Cut the jargon, build purpose, get real." Uh, and uh, a lot of authors, uh, Mitch Joel um, and uh, and Scott Stratton, a couple of other Canadian guys, marketing guys, uh, gave some uh, rave reviews for this. So I really enjoy both of their books. Uh, Six Degrees of Separation from. Uh, Six Pixels, excuse me, separation from Mitch Joel, and then Scott Stratton did all the unbranding and uh, unmarketing, all those books, the unbooks. They were really good, really good books. But anyways, okay, so Think, Do, Say uh, is broken up in kind of like four parts. So it's kind of like this framing. So the first bit of the book kind of frames you on on Ron's kind of uh, approach to marketing and how we're kind of all <laughs> stuck in this uh, noise-filled world where there's so many things pulling for your attention and then the, the 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 second half of the book is broken up uh into the three parts think do and say so uh in a nutshell the think section is kind of like how what's your what's your vision let's say not not so much mantras and mission statements but what and this is the quote and i'll read it right here um when people and companies move from being product focused to being purpose focused, they elevate the conversation uh, and make people care about them. So that kind of gives you an idea of what the think 
part of the book is. The do part of the book is action. Uh, again, a little quote here from the do is uh, grabbing attention and building trust is so much easier when we can customize our do for an individual person. So the do part is not just theory. It's actually like, let's get to work. Let, what are we going to do? What, what is our company? What is our brand going to actually do for the customer? What, what do we stand for? So the do was great. And then finally, the last part of the book was the say, uh, kind of your message, your, what people will look to you when you're out there in social media and gave some really good examples. What was really cool about this book was all of the examples that he gave with, you know, not necessarily the, the, the biggest companies that you've heard of, but, uh, you know, like the, uh, he talked about a, um, what was it? Well, the Westin, or was it in, in Vancouver, the, the ho a hotel that he talked about in Vancouver where they actually like did these little tiny things that helped uh, build the relationship with him. So every time he stayed, they kind of knew that like his dog wasn't going to be with him. So they kind of took a picture and put a picture of a dog up in the room. Like it was just fascinating examples of how these companies think, did, and say, said um, things that helped people um, get more, like said, it was, it was, there, there was so much more of a relationship building opportunity here. It wasn't just, Hey, what's our bottom line? Can we sell some more stuff? It actually showed that these companies cared. And that was the big takeaway from this book was, was showing that you can have the most popular, you know, company in the world. You can have the most popular brand in the world, but if you don't care about your, if you don't care about your customers, if you really don't care about the, the, the value you're giving to them, it's all worthless. It's absolutely worthless. So uh, I'll just read a couple more quotes from the book that really, I, I, I'm, let me be really honest with you. I have problems when I read books, I like print. This is what I do. I print out the quote instead of writing it down, uh, and saving paper. No, I print quotes out with Evernote. Uh, and then I take them to my journal. So I had a, I had, so, I had about a dozen pages of quotes that I took pictures of, but here's the highlights from the book to kind of give you a good idea of what the book is about. Uh, if we benchmark, this was kind of uh, about doing and how, uh, how you know, we can't really compare ourselves to each other. This was big. If we benchmark our own industry, we'll just copy our competition. I thought that, uh, let me be brutally honest with you. I mean, we're doing this on Hive and this is the first CTP uh, book review on Hive. This is a problem I see inside of Hive or, you know, the X, the older blockchain. We were always trying to replace this. So, uh, Steam it was the Reddit of the blockchain. Uh, we're always looking for, uh, you know, DTube was the YouTube of the block. We were always looking for replacements, you know, like blockchain alternatives. And this is, this quote kind of resonated with me. If we benchmark our own industry, we'll just copy our competition. We've got to build something bigger, right? Like Hive, I think personally, we need to focus on what's the best parts about Hive. What can we build on Hive that is unlike anything that we've seen before, in any industry. Anyways, I thought that was a cool um, point. It talks about uh, t the time square of attention, uh, kind of like you know the the you know how we're being pulled left, right, and center. He compared our our lives to like Times Square, where advertisers are just cramming and trying to fill as much space as possible to get our little bit of attention. It was a really cool example. Definitely something. Uh, talk to, about thanking your customers more instead of just saying, oh, I'm going to actually take the time today to thank them. So thank you if you're watching this. Uh, thank you for, <laughs> for watching uh, my videos here uh, on Hive. So uh, yeah, and um, this was, uh, yeah, your personal brand is important, but it should be based on action, not on mantras. That's huge too, right? So think, do, say, uh, tons of, of amazing little nuggets you can take with you. Again, I printed out about a dozen pages of notes uh, that I'm going to put into my journal. An amazing, amazing book. Really easy to read. Even though it does clock in over 300 pages, you can get through this in a couple of hours if you're pretty, you know, decent speed reading. Um, just really good stuff. Really, really good stuff, especially in this day and age. Uh, for marketing and branding, it, it was it was a refreshing read, and and I'm and when I say you know it's it's one of the better marketing and branding books I've read in a while, it is it really is so definitely worth uh, checking out. Ron Tights think do say uh, let me know what you think if you've read this or if you have any marketing and branding books that I should be reading or what you've read recently. I'd love to uh, hear your input, and of course every single comment is upvoted. 
uh, because I appreciate you and I thank you for your time watching this. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Happy reading. Stay safe out there. And I'll get back into more book reviews. This was the first on the Hive blockchain, but we'll do more down the road.